All right, so hey guys, and what's up, what's up, what's up? Brick Score here, and today I have a very fun video for you. I feel like I say that all the time, but this one definitely is a very fun one. This will be my entire Lego Room Tour 2020. And in here, there will be no cut scenes. I have opened up all my cabinets so that you can just see in them, and I'll kind of, you know, direct you, see how things go around here. And I will go decently deep into everything. This will definitely be a very long video. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. This is going to be a very long recording time. Hopefully nothing messes me up. So anyways, uh, first off here is of course the Batcave in our Batman section, which of course soon is going to be going on shelves because at, I'm getting more Batman sets and then, and then I'll be able to show off the ones in the back that I can't at the moment too. So we're excited about that. I have kind of my collection of Batman characters that are already in this battle uh, up there. And then, as we move right along, uh, we have the Avengers uh, facility. Some of my favorite minifigs along here. All just kind of having their own battles. Iron Man working on his Iron Man suit with the Hall of Armor back there. And then you've got uh, Hulk, Iron Man, and Thor facing Ultron. Another race with crossbone, or not a race, but a fight with crossbones. And then some of the Avengers, including Black Panther and so on. The Junior's Avengers base with Captain Marvel up there. This is my Thanos section with, of course, Thanos, his three minions, and a bunch of other minions with all the people in the Avengers suits and the Captain Marvel jet. And then the Justice League section, which again will be growing very soon. Uh, so right here I just have this Aquaman set, and then all of my Justice League characters right there. So that's a very cool one. And then of course the pop figures, which of course are not Lego, even though that is what the channel is centered around. But I definitely collect them as well, as you can see by a mass abundance of them. I won't go too into this, but I'll just say the section. So there's Star Wars, and this is kind of a clump, right? So you have a little bit of Harry Potter back there, Fortnite, Minecraft... Uh, just Jurassic World, which is just him. Ghostbusters, sports, those three. Uh, and yeah, and then we get into uh, all the superheroes. So right here is DC. These uh, five right there are DC. And these are the annoying pop figures that won't stand up. So I just laid them down there. And then in front we have Pokemon and then one more over there. And then the m large section of my pop figures are all Marvel Pops. So just give you a good look at those there. Very, very cool. I, I really do like pop figures. I think they're fun. Just you kind of open them and then you display them. Where Legos, you get the fun of building them. And then, of course, I love my wall. I really do enjoy that. Kind of got some posters. Sorry, I'm building the Porg at the moment. And then uh, I just filmed it, finished filming my haul from all the Lego sets that I got this Christmas. You'll see that coming out soon. That is going to be a must-watch video. That is really awesome. And so, of course, if you didn't know, recently I'm get I I didn't have these shelves before, but now I'm getting them. So uh, definitely not much in them at the moment. Like I shouldn't usually be able to store sets in there. Like no, and like this I wasn't displaying before, and I won't display later when I get stuff. This is the Lego Ninjago board game, and then this is just some other stuff that's like. Some of it's rare, like that, or those, and other stuff is just kind of like random that don't have a shelf and probably will never get one except for a time when I have so much open space. And then, of course, the beauty. My, like, even though I got some great stuff this year, which I won't spoil because I want you to see that video, but uh, it still doesn't compare too much to the Death Star, even though it's almost the same price. But, and then we walk out here, and then this is the Lego room with, and then we have another Lego room, but so this is the main Lego room. So we'll start over here. And this is some more cabinets where I don't really know what to do with. These are some Chima characters from seasons that I don't like. And then we have just kind of a Ninjago bad guy section. Not much to put there at the moment. And then we have the Spider-Man section with lots of stuff there. The snake section from Ninjago. And then the skeleton slash Garmadon section from Ninjago. Which, again, some of these are bare because they're works in progress. This is the other Avengers cabinet here. We got some uh, just kind of random stuff like Ant-Man and the Wasp section, a Black Widow section, a Captain America section, uh, X-Men section, which is at the front because I do really enjoy that set. And then we have an entire shelf dedicated to Guardians of the Galaxy. Really do enjoy those sets, some characters from them. And then up here is three more weird things because we got Doctor Strange in the back. Uh, and then we have some uh, an Avengers section and then my Wakanda so far. I have one more set to complete it. Um, and then the, nothing up there yet. Sorry, I was looking up there. Then we have a Toy Story quick section and a Minions quick section. And then we have like the, the bulk of the Ninjago sets, a bunch of ninjas down there. And then we have the Destiny's Bounty, which is one of my favorite sets. Uh, and then a temple right there. 
and then some stuff from season 11, which was one of my favorite seasons, and then all my Jay stuff, because Jay's my favorite character. Sorry, I'm just realizing the lighting's pretty bad, my bad. Then we have the Jurassic World section. Uh, so we have like the gyrosphere place down here, and then all the, you know, dinosaurs protecting their babies. And then we have a like lab section over there, and then a, you know, they're chasing the raptors over there. And then this one where we have a ride, the egg ride, uh, which is next to a fence, which hold some stuff from the park and so that's all the shelves over there uh so those are the ones that are still a pretty big work in progress some of the ones over here are like done like done done um so for example this one that you're seeing now uh i'm gonna get one more of these tanks and put them next to each other but it's mostly done besides that this is the clone army all my you know cool jedis there like Plo Koon, my favorite and i like soka as well a lot uh, and then this is kind of like, you know, to show he was planning it all. And then I just thought this was kind of cool to put Dark Anakin with Darth Vader above him because that's like who he's becoming. And then we have the Mandalorian section, which is every Mandalorian set so far except for Baby Yoda, which I uh, may or may not have got for Christmas and we'll have to build. Uh, and then up here is kind of uh, just a random section so far. Right now we have the Sith Infiltrator, which is Darth Maul's ship up there. And then next to it is just a the original clone battle pack, which won't always stay there, but I do think that one's pretty fun. Then we have my uh, Harry Potter uh, section, which is has the the first five sets that they came out with. I bought all of them, and then since they they've come out with too many to keep them all. But the first five I bought, which were the train station, the uh, Quidditch match, uh, the Great Hall, and then the other part of Hogwarts, and then the tree. So definitely some really fun sets there. I do love. I really love Hogwarts and. Now that I have those shelves, I'm probably going to put Hogwarts on top of them so I can maybe even add on some more sometime. Uh, and then we have the Rebel Base, which has a bunch of awesome stuff. These are some of my favorite sets, like the X-Wing, the Y-Wing, Millennium Falcon, some A-Wings. Sorry, the lighting is really bad. should have turned on my flashlight, but not going back now. And then we have some like different worlds, like this is Tatooine, and I don't know. This is just some Smuggler's World, and then... Up here we have all my Christmas stuff, not including this year's advent calendar, which I'll do a review of in the coming days. And then just two little houses there, Yoda's and Luke's from episode eight. And then my uh, uh, first order or, you know, empire bad guy base, which is supposed to like be good guy base, bad guy base. And I'm going to have enough stuff to do more sections soon. So that's fun. And then, of course, the thing that kind of got the channel started really good was the city. Now, actually, I think more Star Wars has done it really well. But I do really love my city. I won't go in, into it too, too much. So, like, you know, just really awesome here. I really do enjoy it. This has taken a bunch of work. This is the most, like, finished thing, I think. Or at least this section of the city. Diagon Alley will not always be here. It will be on those shelves in my room. And then more city will be here, which is very exciting. Camper back there. So there's like just lots of little like battles and details and people running away from the Hulk and just lots of little fun details in the city. I'm very, very proud of that. And of course, Diagon Alley. And for now, so I it's been a little while now since I built it. But when I built it, I only put the characters that came with with it to kind of have the complete set for at least a little while before I go put it somewhere else. So that's fun. And it definitely looks good right there, but definitely won't be there forever. Oh, yeah. And then one more uh, under here. We have Chima, which is very awesome. Uh, I I think I'm almost done collection, collecting Chima. Uh, I may or may not have gotten one Chima set for Christmas. Again, you should totally watch the haul video when it comes out. It's going to be amazing. Uh, so definitely that's really cool. And then I might get a couple more sets, but I'm kind of done with Chima. I mean, they're just such expensive sets nowadays. And you know, I kind of just keep collecting for the fun of it, but I'm not really into it anymore. And then, of course, the amusement park, which, of course, this was actually my first hit video was my review of my amusement park. But because uh, at the time, it's only on one table and all this stuff on one table looks really good on two tables does not because there's way too much white. Uh, but hopefully I'll be getting some stuff for Christmas. Well, I'm recording this after Christmas. Well, I'm not after on Christmas. I'm recording this. So uh you know i'll add some stuff there eventually i really don't want to spoil that amazing video can't stress it enough you should watch that so definitely really cool love my amusement park and so yeah that is the lego room tour so of course that is the like it's just like a you know this is supposed to be like a warehouse place that i've been allowed to use and then we have the laundry room which has become the lego room and then of course 
Uh, and then that's the door to like the rest of the house. Uh, sorry, I have some like boxes here that need to be thrown in the trash or put somewhere. And then this is my room. So definitely really excited about it. And so, yeah, with that, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Tell me if you if you like the cutscenes or you think just kind of seeing the whole house is good. Tell me that in the comment section down below. And with that, thank you guys, as always, for watching this video. Again, that haul video with all these will be coming out soon, so you should definitely go see it. And so, yeah, see you guys later on Brick Score.